Paddy in from six to four to five to four. Auburn Castle out a little from 13 to 8 to 15 to 8. Still at 11 to 2, dual image, but in truth, Ease is two points from 10s to 12 to 1. Remaining at 16s, Ease Thorpe, it's still 33 to 1, Hawaiian Youth, and uh, someone's been nibbling at the outsider, Genie Spirit, in 50 points from 200 to 1 to 150 to 1. So we're looking for a fast pace for Auburn Castle on the morning line this morning. Dancing Paddy will go off the 11 to 8 favourite, Auburn Castle 2 to 1, as they head down to the first of 13 fences. And Auburn Castle and East Thorpe in the air together there with In Truth towards the outside. And then the Grey Genie Spirit taking quite a firm tug from Hawaiian Youth as they head down towards the second. This is an open ditch and East Thorpe, a confirmed front runner, jumps it just a little hesitantly though over that one and passed in the air by Auburn Castle. Further out, left of those is uh, in truth wider still the grey genie spirit and then dual image behind them from hawaiian youth and dancing patty the favorite being held up at the rear of the field on towards the fourth now and jumping pretty soundly so far auburn castle has taken over from in truth and good jump by the leader and dancing patty down an awful looking fall there dancing patty held up to uh, come with a late run by Charlie Swan, who's up on his feet all right, and the horse, I'm happy to say, is galloping on sound as a pound. So no, not too much damage done, only to the punter's wallets. As they pass the stands then, with a circuit in front of them, and it's Auburn Castle, by length to In Truth, then East Thorpe in third, Genie Spirit is fourth from Jewel Image, and Hawaiian Youth is some way detached from those now, Hawaiian Youth who was slightly hampered by Dancing Paddy's departure. So swinging left-handed then out into the country, the next they take will be a plain fence, it's number five. And Auburn Castle with his task made rather easier now by Dancing Paddy's fall. Auburn Castle by a little more than a length to In Truth. And then East Thorpe creeping up on the inside, Jewel Image held up in fourth place. And then Genie Spirit now being niggled along in fifth. And then a gap to Hawaiian Youth. So on towards the next. Auburn Castle leads them into it, jumping soundly again. Oh, and Jewel Image is down that time. Jewel Image has gone, and so has Genie Spirit. And Hawaiian Youth was hampered again. He's not having much uh, luck in, in uh, running at the moment. They take another open ditch, and Auburn Castle the leader by a length and a half to East Thorpe. Then in truth, and Hawaiian Youth, who's encountered all these traffic problems, continuing in fourth place. Another plain one coming up. And East Thorpe driven up to join Auburn Castle, in truth, on the outside. Quite a sight there, the three horses in the air together. A wine youth you can see in the background just popping over a very remote fall. Dancing Paddy 11 to 8, Auburn Castle 2 to 1, Jewel Image 11 to 2, 12 to 1 bar as they take another one on the far side. And it looks a three horse contest now, barring accidents, because Hawaiian Youth is a long, long way behind. So on the inside, the far side of the picture, Auburn Castle with ears pricked takes this one nicely. In truth, lands second, then East Thorpe in third place, and it must be 30 lengths, nearly a furlong to Hawaiian Youth as they swing left-handed out of the back straight. They'll have four fences in the straight ahead of them, and In Truth looms up on the outside of Auburn Castle, and In Truth, don't discount him. His trainer, Steve Gollin, reckons he's good enough to go to Cheltenham, and he's laying down a strong challenge to Auburn Castle as they head down to the fourth last and there it was just Auburn Castle on the inside in truth joining him they're pulling five lengths clear of East Thorpe who's now got work to do forget Hawaiian youth he's well tailed off here's the final open ditch Auburn Castle leads by a half length going into it in truth uh, very close on landing however just nodded slightly and a good race in prospect East Thorpe is back in third they've got two left to go Auburn Castle on the far side under Jamie Osborne in truth on the outside perhaps just landing first in truth and Jason Titley. Now Auburn Castle pulled the whip and what will he find? One fence left to go. In Truth just up in front from Auburn Castle. In Truth ploughed through it. A birch bashing blunder and that's cost him dear. Auburn Castle left clear now. In Truth trying hard to rally in second place. He'll be a good horse if he can recover from that. Auburn Castle is getting very weary on the running. He may have to get off and push him. It's Auburn Castle out in front from In Truth up towards the line. Auburn holding on from In Truth, but In Truth surely an unlucky loser. Auburn Castle by a length and a half to In Truth. They're clear of East Thorpe in third. And looking back, Hawaiian Youth is completing for a very remote fourth place. Well, it all changed, didn't it, at the final fence here. Auburn Castle and In Truth absolutely locked together. But uh, it's an old cliche, jumping's the name of the game, and it has cost In Truth victory. He rallied most tenaciously on the run-in, 
but that vital advantage handed to Auburn Castle, the two to one winner at that final fence has proved decisive. So first, number three, Auburn Castle in the colours of Rashley Arms, Charleswell St. Austell, trained by Oliver Sherwood, a guest on the morning line and ridden by Jamie Osborne. Second, number six, In Truth, trained by Steve Gollings and ridden by Jason Titley. And third was number four, East Thorpe from Henrietta Knight Stable. Castle winning again, this time at two to one. Second, number two, uh, number six, In Truth, at 12 to one. And third, number four, East Thorpe, at 16 to one. The uh, favourite was Dancing Paddy at 11 to eight. He, of course, fell.